I'm Jessica Ringan from the OSU Extension Service in Lincoln County. I love menu planning and I always encourage people to plan out their meals at least a week or more in advance. Planning this way will make you more likely to cook and eat at home. And if you've included lots of fruits and vegetables in those meal plans, then you are more likely to serve and eat fruits and vegetables throughout the week. You can also use your menu plan to create your grocery list so that you have the things you need on hand to prepare the meals that you planned. But if you've been living and planning things for very long, you know that life doesn't always go as planned. Sometimes you can't make it to the grocery store when you thought you would. Sometimes you forget to thaw out your meat. Sometimes your schedule changes and you just don't have time to prepare the meal that you had planned. And for days like that, it's really helpful to have a well-stocked pantry. And when I say pantry, I don't mean a specific cabinet in your kitchen. I simply mean the collection of shelf-stable food items that you have on hand that you can use to pull together a healthy meal in a pinch. So when I, have, when I think about my pantry, I like to have some things in there that I don't have a plan for so that when my plan falls through, I can use those items and create a healthy meal for my family. What do I have in my pantry? I like to keep canned beans. Any kind of beans that you like will do. I always have black beans and ranch style beans. They go great uh, you know, with some ground beef into some chili or soups or with rice. When you pair beans with rice, it creates a whole protein so it can replace a meat in a meal. I also have canned tomatoes. I like diced tomatoes. I think they're more versatile, but any kind of tomatoes that you like is fine. Canned tomatoes can go in casseroles, soups, pasta dishes. Anything you add them to, it's gonna add a lot of flavor and color. I also keep dried pastas in various shapes. You can use whole wheat pasta or a more traditional um, white flour pasta. And there's lots of other varieties out there available as well. And then I also always have canned tuna and chicken. I know that canned meat has kind of gotten a bad rap here lately, but it's really a nutritious option for those nights when things just don't go well. If your meat didn't get thawed or if your chicken went bad when you weren't looking, you can always sub in canned chicken in casseroles, in burritos, enchiladas. There's lots of different things that you can, that you can use canned meat in and you might not even know the difference. And then let's not forget, canned tuna and chicken are great as the star of the show in tuna salad and chicken salad. I also keep rice on hand all the time. And again, there's a multitude of varieties of rice on the grocery store shelves with cooking times that vary from two minutes up to 45 minutes. So choose the kind of rice that you like and that uh, fits your lifestyle and your cooking skills. It's a great idea to have a variety of canned vegetables and canned fruits in the pantry. And then I also always have peanut butter and jelly because who doesn't love a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And I always have popcorn because we want to snack every now and then too. And popcorn is a great whole grain snack that my kids love. So you can use these pantry items with the other items you have in your refrigerator, in your freezer, or your bread box to pull together a meal when things just didn't go right.